You might wonder why many Alcor members choose to preserve only their brain, kept within the skull, rather than their entire body. The first thing to understand is that the brain is the most essential organ in the human body. All other tissues and organs can theoretically be replaced. The brain itself cannot be replaced, because that's where your personality and memories reside. Besides, why take a broken down old body with you? It will have to be replaced or entirely repaired anyway. Disease, aging and cryopreservation cause damage to almost every cell of a whole body patient. Future physicians may decide that the best way to reverse this damage will be to regrow a young healthy body around the repaired brain of a cryonics patient, rather than devise separate repair strategies for all the different organs and tissues of the body. In both nature and industry, replacement of damaged parts is usually easier than repair. If so, then the extra money spent for whole body preservation today may be wasted. One major advantage of neuropreservation is that it is much less expensive than whole body preservation, primarily because 10 neuropatients can be stored in the same space as one whole body patient. Apart from neuropatients costing less to maintain, they can be moved much more easily in the event of an emergency. It may be that the brains of neuropatients are better perfused and cryoprotected than the brains of whole body patients, although experts disagree on this. What is clear is that more advanced preservation technologies are often made available for neuropatients before whole body patients. For example, for several years, vitrification was only available for neuropatients. Currently, Alcor is testing storage systems to reduce or eliminate tissue fracturing injury in cryonics patients. These systems, which involve storing at temperatures warmer than liquid nitrogen, will probably be available for neuropatients years before they are for whole body patients. It's important to note, however, that whole body preservation may become a superior option to neuropreservation at some point in the future, perhaps allowing for earlier revival. A turning point will be reached when preservation of the whole body, including brain, becomes so good that tissue regeneration begins to look like a hard problem compared to tissue repair. At that point, whole body preservation will be better than neuropreservation. Alcor therefore advises young members to purchase sufficient life insurance for whole body preservation, even if choosing neuropreservation now. I'm Max Moore. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it interesting, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our website and consider becoming an associate member.